Hey, hello, and welcome to this tutorial about Timecode Monitor. Timecode Monitor is a cool, simple, easy little application that helps you to see what's coming in on your timecode. Um, so, the big thing you see here is just a clock. Uh, this is your audio input. And let's first set up a configuration. Um, I have some timecode running on my Soundflower. Uh, input 1 and 2. Um, so here in the settings you can choose like uh, your card, uh, your inputs, sample rate and buffer size. Um, so you'll see timecode is running now. It's running on this audio track and uh, it's coming in. Um, we see here that it's 25 frames a second. That is what it is measuring right now. Um, yeah, and that's the main thing to it. If you want to see more, you can go to history. And here you see the individual frames coming. So, um, this is an ID. This is the actual time. So if you want to, if you're not sure, I mean, if, you, if you're dropping frames or you think you're dropping frames or you should be dropping frames, but you think you're not, you can check it here. You can also see the user data that is in the time code so it there is actually a, a few bytes uh, of, of metadata that can be set you can also set that as date format um, so by this toggle you can either choose to see whether you want to see the date or want to see the data being parsed as a date format or just see the raw date in hexadecimal and here we have the drop frame bit, the color frame bit. Um, these three are configuration bits. Um, it is depending on the standard you're using, it's flagged or not or reserved or whatever. Uh, so if you want to see that, you can see it here. This is the direction of the time code. So if it's playing backward, you will see backward showing up here. And this is the uh, volume. So you can also see here in the monitor, did you see the volume that is coming in? And if you lower the volume, let's see. Let's unpause this one. Clear. Um, you can see, you can also see these decibels going down. Um, but you can also see the meter here going down. So it's great for reference whenever you're on a show or in a studio or edit suite, just get an old like Mac mini or something, hit it on a display and this is your reference monitor. All right, so um, that's it. I hope you enjoyed it. Like, subscribe if you like it. Um, see you uh, next time.